So as we go along a creation timeline, we start with a period of creation, seven day, creation week. Then we have this knife slash of the fall coming through time. And now we come to a period of time between the fall and the flood. We believe that during this period of time, the conditions were different than they are today. Lush vegetation grew back then. We have evidence from the fossil record that things grew to be much larger than they are today and that there was much greater biomass. It means there's just lots, lots more vegetation than there is today. We read from the Bible that the ages of people were much um, older in the past than they are today. The patriarchs before the flood lived to 900 years and more. And so we find conditions must have been different on the earth before the flood. Well, what could have caused this? Some people think this was due to a canopy of water vapor or perhaps a stronger magnetic field back then. Both of these ideas could help to screen out some of the harmful radiation entering our atmosphere and help moderate conditions here on Earth. And there is evidence to support these ideas, but further research is needed, and that's in progress. Well, we read from the Bible that something else happened in this pre-flood world. We find out that wickedness increased. The impact of Adam's sin spread until all men were, were evil and wickedness was in their heart. And God looked at the earth and he said he was going to destroy it. But he found Noah. And Noah was a man who believed God. And God came to Noah and he said, I'm going to destroy this world. You're going to need to build an ark. And it's going to have to be a big one. Because you're going to have to take all kinds of animals on board. And so Noah believed God and he obeyed and he built that ark. Unfortunately, the rest of the people didn't believe. I think there was plenty of room on board the ark for them, but they didn't believe and they didn't get on.